I'm Mark Boyle, product manager at Amato Weltech. In this nugget, we will look at dissimilar metal welding, particularly for battery connections. Batteries and battery packs are used in a wide variety of products, such as power tools, portable electronics, and electric vehicles. A common battery type used today is the lithium ion battery. The design of this battery type often uses a cold rolled steel or nickel plated cold rolled steel can. When building a battery pack, a tab or strap is used to connect the batteries and also the batteries to the device. Traditionally, nickel or steel material would be selected for the ease of weldability to the can. Consumer demand for longer lasting, better performance devices leads to desired changes of the battery pack. To improve battery and battery pack performance, one method would be to lower the resistance between the battery terminals and the load. The resistance that exists there in the material leads to heat, which leads to energy loss within the system. When we look at the resistivity of several metals, we see that traditional materials of nickel and steel are relatively high in resistance. Ideally, we would like to use copper or aluminum because they are more conductive. However, this creates a number of challenges from a welding perspective, including different melting temperatures and also material compatibility. Fortunately, new laser sources and techniques have been recently identified and developed to overcome these challenges. Now that we can join many dissimilar materials as shown here, this opens up new opportunities to develop new, better performance battery packs. Although today we have focused on batteries, these techniques can be applied to other parts and other devices in numerous industries. Contact Amata Weltech to discover more. Thank you.